Hello everybody, welcome to another review. I just grabbed the latest WebRoot Secure Anywhere software. It's I think the latest version and it's got a super small installer, just about 500 KBs. So really small and a pretty quick scan. Now uh, these are some of the features it's got. There you go, all the shields. Um, it's got real real-time shield of course, a behavior blocker, I think somewhat, a core system shield, web threat shield, it's also got a firewall, it's got everything, it's the complete suite, and also protects your identity, got password management, you can also back up and sync, but you have to download another module for that, I've not done that, so you can do it if you want, and it's got some system tools, like you can control your active process, got sandbox and a system cleaner. Now it, I think it cleans fi junk files and registry entries, there you go. So that's how it works and it's really fast, I mean I don't experience any sort of slowdown and so that's it. Uh, it's got no update, it's just like cloud, it runs all the time and uh, you don't have to update it, so that's it. And just to show you through the memory usage, um, there you go, that's, that's uh, I think it's just the one process, I think. Now, two, okay. So it's using it around I mean it's even less than one meg, so that's fantastic. No, it's got another one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these are two, so it's using less than one megabyte of RAM, so it's really fast on the system, and that's great, but let's see how it does in the test. Now I've got some new links, and the ones that I used to test Komodo and Panda and the other things. This won't be a comparative test, so we'll do a full scan with the root after the test is done. So these were some of the links I used. I'll be using some of these, some of these, and this, these are new ones. We'll try out them, see how many work. So let's get started. Oops. Made a mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's the first one. This one didn't work. This one. Okay, so all of that. So as it's not working, we'll see. Didn't get anything from WebRoot though. Okay, this one also says some problem. Now, we won't be running all of these, just a few towards the end. Yep. These, because these were pretty good and went through the shields of, I think, Komodo, although it's sandboxed. Okay, so that doesn't work. Or at least didn't start. Okay, so finally something from WebRoot. Now it's found some file, a suspicious Win32 heuristic, and it's in, I think, Anyway, it says it's got rid of that. Probably deleted it, so we'll proceed. Now we'll try the other files. I mean the other links. Some from here. Sorry about that. Now Okay, so it got this one too, so that's good. Okay. Okay, this one's a uh, kind of background EXT file now. It says it can access it. Okay, so that's why it's blocked by WebRoot as malicious threat. So that's good. Some other files, 
so that's great. And works, I'm skipping them. This one was working. Okay. Okay, it kind of acts as that. Strange, didn't work. Okay, so that's why it's got that one too. So, so far, so good. Web group. And I think we'll leave it here because most class links didn't work. So now let's try out these new links. I mean, they're pretty much uh, new and more new than those. So these are kind of like, uh, say, all to your malware. So let's get started. This Okay, so that one doesn't work. I don't know how many of these work, so... Okay, that one's just... No file there, I don't see anything. Nothing from Webwood. Okay, so this one's went through. I'm not sure if this malware or it's just false positive. It's got pretty low detection ratios. I think we'll just uh, let's install it anyway. Get anything from Webroot, so See if that's really a malware or that's probably false positive as well. Okay, so that one looks so malware piece. Okay, so it's got that one. Getting anything from Webroot on that one. We'll see because these are very low detection ratios, so I'm not sure if all of them are really threats. Like this one's downloading something in the background and it's not gonna close, so that's kind of weird. Okay, so this one went right through and it's doing whatever it wants to do. Oh, so what happened here is uh, the system's rebooted, so my virtual machine just changed its state, so probably got things running in memory. Oh, let's see. That means I don't think we ever did a very good have got all this stuff. Let's see if something's running in memory first. It's just rebooted automatically, I haven't done anything. Nothing's running in memory right now, but some safe dump. I don't know, might be. Okay. No startup entries so far, so nothing's weird, so let's continue. 
But I'm pretty sure a crew will get by itself, so it's probably some foul that really crew level. Okay, so this one's not working. This one's not working either. Probably the files that okay this one they got okay okay so got that one okay so it's uh, found something that's trying to get to the map probably the firewall no uh, I think block. Because uh, after seeing the file, probably user won't recognize the same block. And there we go. So, looks like the system rebooted again. So, I think we've got a lot of threats in memory and probably causing problems. So, I think we'll just try two, three more links and then we can scan with WebRoot and then we'll do a scan with MongoBytes and Hitman Pro. Okay, let's just hope it starts up. There's a long delay here, probably some of the viruses might be doing some work in the background. Okay, so finally it's fair, then the webpage stops up, so if there's no problems, okay. There we go, it's just it's crashed. Twice already. Yeah, it's pretty surely there's that some things that are running in the background that WebRoot hasn't got them. We'll see how it does. Okay, there we go. So I think that's the last one we're going to do. It got this readme1.exe. That's good. Now this one doesn't look like it's downloading. Anyway, we'll wait for it to do whatever it wants. Then do it. So anyway. Uh, don't mind the noise in the background. So, all the links are done and the web root says everything's fine. So I'll do a default scan. My computer. So it'll scan all the files. I think it scans this is a complete scan, so we'll do the scan, and I'll be back with the results. I'll see you guys then. Hello, everybody. Um, Reproof just finished its scan, and it says it didn't find anything. It's a pretty fast scan, just took about, there you go, 25 seconds. So it's tremendously fast, but I don't know if it scanned everything, but it's the default scan, and I always do the default scan. Um, maybe if I do a custom scan, take long, but I think it's uh, just the same scan, so it's no no point to it. It's the same. So that's the most deep scan they've got, and they've done that. So let's uh, run malwarebytes and see what it's got. I don't know, I think, pretty sure some things made it past WebRoot, so we'll see. So I'll do the scan and I'll be back with the results. See you then. And the scan is still running, but I came back because uh, it's running like super slow, I mean, it's running about a file per second or something like that, or even more worse. So I guess there's some problem, it's why Malwarebytes can't scan properly. 
Okay, there we go. That's half, I guess. Just it's it was it wasn't responding for quite some time, so I tried to stop it. Anyway, it's there you go. It can still see that the system's pretty much slowing down. I think maybe there's something running in memory. Okay, so let's see. Nothing obvious. You can see it's already found two things, but we don't know what's that. Nothing's in memory, so we'll just continue with scan, I guess. No, I think let's just abort it here. Scan from malware bytes, and let's do a scan with Hitman Profit. Remove these two infected. Okay, there we go. Let's cut. Maybe something was slowing the scan down. Um, there you go. So clearly, two pieces of malware have made it in. Webroot didn't do anything, and these two got in. So far, only. I think there might be more. So, okay, there you go. So it says we have to restart to complete the removal process. So probably something's running in memory, so we'll have to restart. So that's why the scans were slow and that's what was restarting the system. So that's bad for a group because it didn't protect from these threats and pretty much they're in the system. So we'll restart and we'll be back. There you go. Doing a restart. There it is. You can see that it's not even restarting properly. Taking a long time to shut down. Probably the virus file doesn't want to shut down. There you go. You can see that. It's not responding somewhat. So as you can see, I've already clicked the restart button. So I'll be back when the restart is done. One hour. Welcome back everybody. I didn't restart on its own. I waited for about, let's say, 5-10 minutes. It didn't work, so I had reset the virtual machine. So, there you can see it's starting up. So, pretty much threats went right through up route into the system, so that's poor, I think. Even if, I mean, you don't get the files, you don't have signatures, I think you've got to block them at least. Block the malicious actions at least, like restarting the computer, but Weber didn't do anything, it just did whatever it wanted, so... So, Malwarebytes hopefully was able to remove the threats. And now we'll do a scan with Hitman Pro. So I'll be back when the scan is done. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything. That's pretty strange. So what we're going to do, we're going to run another scan with Malwarebytes. Just to make sure those two were the only pieces that went through. So I'll be back when the scan is done. Okay, welcome back everyone. There you go. The scan completed successful this time. So it's got whatever it's supposed to get. Now it found two more things. So these are different ones. So it's probably got rid of the first two. Now I don't know why Hitman promised this. Probably didn't have signatures. Looks like malware by Scott. And uh, this is a registry key here and a malicious registry key and Trojan agent some file there you go this one we tried it and so I mean I guess that's all and so final verdict on okay so we'll have to restart we'll do that later final verdict on webroot I mean Stop some of the threats, super fast on the system, not much load, I mean, scans are like lightning, but really they have to improve their security thing. I mean, 
uh, it's not a big deal that it missed four things. I mean, I've seen other software miss like that, but the big thing is that it didn't have any other form of protection that could save you from malicious activities done by the viruses. So pretty much the viruses did whatever they wanted. I mean, they restarted the computer, they probably made copies of them in System32 folder, so all these infections were in system areas, so they guess uh, not good enough for root, so it's a kind of fail this. I don't know, I'd probably give WebRoot a uh, 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10 tremendous performance, but as you saw, I mean, it's the security just isn't good enough. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll do some more about maybe some of the more prominent secured suites like Norton. So, see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed the review and good day.